Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be explaining how Apache HBase is different from relational database management systems, right? Because both things are quite related because both are DBMS, right? And but the thing is both are different as well. So let's talk about what's the difference between these two things. Okay, HBase and RDBMS. So I'll be uh, comparing these two on the four points. First, CRUD operations. Second, normalization. Third is column oriented storage. And fourth is asset properties. Let's start. First, we all know that in traditional RDBMS, uh, every operation like with the likes of creating table, inserting rows, updating rows, all were done using the structured query language or we abbreviated as SQL. But in the case of Apache HBase, it does not support SQL, right? So now let's talk about the first point, CRUD operations. Apache HBase only supports a basic set of operations, which are known as create, read, update, and delete. It doesn't su support other operations that we have in traditional RDBMS like Oracle. I'll talk about it in a while. So all the operations has, have to be applied at a row level means everything whatever you're doing it all limited to a single row apache hbase does not support the operations which are done across multiple rows or across multiple tables right it just support operations on a single row meaning is that we are not having any uh, support for joins group by subqueries aggregation because it does not support the operations across rows or tables so we don't have the operations like joins group by subquery aggregation right next point is normalization it is written here denormalized that apache hbase is a denormalized but in the case of rdbms it is normalized we all have studied in rdbms that we have a concept of normalization in which we always talk about how to get rid of duplicacy, how to decompose a table into multiple parts so that uh, the things can be properly structured. But in the case of Apache HBase, tables are not designed using the relational data model. So we are not following any model which are there for the traditional databases. All the data pertaining to a entity is stored in a single row. So there is no, that's why just to uh, overcome this problem because I've, as I've already stated that there's no join available. Why join is required? When we have a data available across multiple tables, if the data is not available in a single table, we have to join two tables, right? But so in the case of Apache HBase, we keep all the data stored in a single row. So we can have a data of form struct or array over there, which we don't follow in the traditional databases. So data is a denormalized. So tables are denormalized. All right. Next point is column oriented storage. As we all know that uh, uh, Apache HBase does not follow the traditional databases and it doesn't follow the traditional row oriented storage. It follows the columnar oriented storage. It means it has got a special kind of data model in which we have a concept of column families. We have a concept of timestamp. We have a concept of row IDs, right? So it follows the some special kind of or different kind of data model, which is not available in a RDBMS. And last point before we end up this video, we have a we have a comparison on the basis of asset properties. Asset, as the name suggests, it is atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability. It is written here that asset uh, Apache HBase is a is having or supporting asset at a row level only, or it is a asset compliant for a limited kinds of transactions. Let's suppose if your transaction, if you are updating, maybe if you are uh, calling for update uh, updation of the multiple rows at that time uh, the, your your tonic this uh, this operation will not be asset compliant because it is written it is already written here it's just a asset a row level if we are working on a single row then it will be exhibiting some kind of asset properties but if we are having if you are doing some operation which is uh, which is affecting multiple rows it not be a asset compliant so it's asset compliant for a limited kinds of transactions I hope guys with this short little video, you are now able to understand how Apache HBase is different from RDBMS. Thanks for watching guys. See you in next video.